In our modern world, mental resilience is more important than ever. Whether it's dealing with daily stress, navigating relationships, or working toward personal goals, a strong mind is essential for well-being and success. Yet, many of us unknowingly engage in habits that make our minds weaker, leading to anxiety, frustration, and a sense of being stuck. The teachings of Buddha offer profound wisdom on the workings of the mind and provide valuable insights on how to strengthen it. Buddha believed that the mind is both the cause of suffering and the key to liberation. By recognizing and transforming certain habits, we can cultivate a mind that is not only stronger, but more peaceful and fulfilled. This video explores 10 common habits that weaken the mind and how Buddha-inspired teachings can help us overcome them, leading to mental clarity and resilience. Habit 1. Clinging to control. One of the most common habits that weaken the mind is the need to control every aspect of life. Whether it's trying to control outcomes, people or situations, this habit is rooted in fear and insecurity. The more we try to control, the more we feel overwhelmed when things don't go as planned. This leads to frustration, anxiety and a constant sense of unease. In Buddhism, the concept of non-attachment is central to letting go of the need for control. Buddha taught that life is impermanent and constantly changing, much like a river flowing through a valley. The more we try to hold on to things, whether it's relationships, success, or material possessions, the more we suffer. Instead, practicing non-attachment helps us flow with life's changes, reducing mental strain and promoting inner peace. Imagine you're planning an important event, like a wedding or a business meeting. You've meticulously planned every detail, but on the day of the event, things start going wrong. Perhaps the weather doesn't cooperate or a key speaker cancels last minute. The need for control in this moment can lead to panic, frustration, and even anger. However, by practicing non-attachment, you can accept that some things are beyond your control and focus on responding calmly and flexibly to the situation. Try the letting go meditation. Sit in a quiet place and focus on your breath. As you inhale, imagine gathering all your worries, anxieties, and need for control. As you exhale, visualize releasing them one by one, like leaves floating down a river. Repeat this for 10 minutes and notice the sense of relief and lightness that comes with letting go. Habit two, neglecting gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful practice that can transform your perspective and strengthen your mind. However, when we neglect gratitude, we tend to focus on what's lacking in our lives. This habit of always wanting more or focusing on problems weakens the mind by creating dissatisfaction and negative thinking. Over time, this leads to mental exhaustion and a sense of never being enough. Buddhism emphasizes contentment as a key to happiness. Buddha taught that happiness does not come from external circumstances, but from an inner sense of contentment. When we cultivate gratitude for what we have, whether it's health, relationships, or the simple joys of daily life, we nurture a strong, resilient mind that can withstand life's challenges. Consider someone who constantly strives for career advancement, always looking for the next promotion or pay raise. While ambition is not inherently bad, Neglecting gratitude for where you are can lead to burnout and chronic dissatisfaction. Practicing gratitude for the current position, the skills you've developed, and the opportunities you have can shift your mindset from one of lack to one of abundance. Start a daily gratitude journal. Each morning or evening, write down three things you are grateful for. It could be as simple as a warm cup of tea, a supportive friend, or the ability to walk in nature. Over time, you'll notice that your mind naturally shifts toward focusing on the positive, which fosters mental strength and well-being. Habit 6. Holding grudges. Holding on to anger or resentment is a habit that weakens the mind by keeping it stuck in negative emotions. Grudges prevent you from experiencing peace and often create a mental and emotional burden that is difficult to release. This habit keeps you in a cycle of suffering as you relive the hurt and anger associated with past wrongs. Buddha taught the importance of forgiveness and letting go of anger. Holding on to grudges only creates suffering for yourself, not for the person who wronged you. By practicing forgiveness, you free your mind from the heavy burden of resentment 
and create space for compassion and peace. Consider someone who was betrayed by a close friend. Years later, they still feel anger and bitterness toward that person, even though the friendship ended long ago. This grudge affects their ability to trust others and form new friendships as their mind is preoccupied with the past hurt. Practice loving-kindness meditation, metta. Begin by sitting quietly and focusing on your breath. Visualize someone you are holding a grudge against and silently repeat, may you be happy, may you be free from suffering. Over time, this practice softens the anger and resentment, making room for forgiveness and mental peace. Habit 7. Constant Comparison In a world driven by social media and constant exposure to other people's lives, comparing yourself to others has become almost second nature. However, constant comparison weakens the mind by fostering feelings of inadequacy, jealousy and dissatisfaction. When you measure your worth against external standards, you lose sight of your own path and unique qualities. Buddhism emphasizes right view, which is about seeing things as they are, without distortion. Constant comparison distorts your self-perception and creates mental suffering. Instead, focus on your own journey and practice contentment with who you are and where you are. Imagine scrolling through social media and seeing a friend's vacation photos or a colleague's career success. You may begin to feel that your life isn't as exciting or successful, leading to feelings of inadequacy. This constant comparison takes away from your ability to appreciate your own life and achievements. Each time you catch yourself comparing to others, pause and bring your focus back to your own journey. Write down three things that you are proud of or grateful for in your own life. Over time, this practice will help shift your focus from external validation to inner contentment. Habit 3. Dwelling on past mistakes. The habit of dwelling on past mistakes is like carrying an invisible weight on your shoulders. It can lead to regret, self-blame, and even depression. By constantly replaying past failures or missteps, you drain your mental energy and prevent yourself from moving forward. This habit weakens the mind by creating a narrative of inadequacy, keeping you stuck in the past rather than engaging with the present. The Buddha taught the importance of living in the present moment. According to Buddhist philosophy, the past is gone, the future is uncertain, and the present is all we truly have. By letting go of past mistakes and accepting them as part of your learning journey, you free your mind to focus on the here and now. Think of a person who made a significant mistake at work that led to a loss of a big client. They might spend weeks or months replaying the event in their mind, thinking about what they could have done differently. This constant rumination keeps them from focusing on their current work and improving their skills as their mental energy is tied up in the past. Practice self-forgiveness meditation. Sit quietly and close your eyes. Visualize a mistake you've made in the past that you struggle to let go of. As you breathe in, acknowledge the mistake and its impact. As you breathe out, repeat the phrase, I forgive myself and I release this. Continue this for 10 minutes and feel the weight of the past begin to lift. Habit 4. Chasing Perfection. The pursuit of perfection is another habit that weakens the mind. While striving for excellence can be motivating, chasing perfection often leads to anxiety, stress, and a fear of failure. This habit creates unrealistic expectations, leaving you disappointed when things don't go perfectly. It also fosters a mindset of not good enough, which erodes your self-confidence over time. In Buddhism, the idea of impermanence teaches us that nothing in life is perfect or permanent. Everything is constantly changing and seeking perfection is a form of attachment that leads to suffering. Instead of perfection, focus on progress and growth, which align more closely with the natural rhythms of life. Consider a student preparing for an exam. If they are obsessed with getting a perfect score, they might study excessively, experience burnout, and feel intense anxiety before the test. Even if they do well, anything less than perfect feels like failure. However, by focusing on learning and improvement rather than perfection, they can enjoy the process and celebrate their progress. 
shift your mindset with the progress over perfection practice. At the end of each day, instead of evaluating whether you were perfect in your tasks, ask yourself, did I make progress? Write down any small victories, no matter how minor, and celebrate them. This will train your mind to appreciate growth rather than perfection. Habit 5. Overthinking. Overthinking is a mental habit that can leave you feeling trapped in an endless loop of analysis, doubt and indecision. When you overthink, you make simple decisions complex and delay taking action. This habit weakens the mind by overwhelming it with unnecessary information and possibilities, leading to mental paralysis. Buddhism teaches right mindfulness, which encourages being fully present in the moment rather than being lost in thoughts of the past or future. Mindfulness allows you to observe your thoughts without getting caught up in them, helping you break free from the cycle of overthinking and regain mental clarity. Imagine someone who has to make an important decision, such as choosing a new job or moving to a new city. They might spend weeks agonizing over every detail, weighing pros and cons to the point where they can't decide at all. Overthinking in this case prevents them from making a choice and moving forward with their life. Use the stop and drop technique. Whenever you notice yourself overthinking, take a deep breath and say stop internally. Then drop the thought by focusing your attention on something physical, your breath, a sound or a sensation in your body. This practice helps to break the cycle of overthinking and bring you back to the present moment. Habit 8. Avoiding discomfort. Avoiding discomfort is a habit that prevents growth and weakens mental resilience. When you shy away from difficult situations, emotions or challenges, you miss out on opportunities for personal development. This habit creates a fragile mind that cannot handle the inevitable ups and downs of life. In Buddhism, dukkha, suffering, is acknowledged as a fundamental part of life. Buddha taught that avoiding discomfort only leads to greater suffering in the long run. By confronting and accepting discomfort, you build mental resilience and learn to navigate life's challenges with grace. Think of someone who avoids difficult conversations at work or in relationships. By avoiding discomfort, they may temporarily escape conflict, but over time, unresolved issues build up, leading to bigger problems. Facing discomfort head-on can resolve issues more quickly and create a stronger sense of mental empowerment. Start with small acts of discomfort, if you avoid public speaking, try sharing your thoughts in a small meeting. If you avoid difficult conversations, start by addressing smaller issues. Each time you confront discomfort, reflect on how you felt afterward and how it helped you grow. Habit 9. Seeking validation from others. Seeking constant validation from others is a habit that weakens the mind by making your self-worth dependent on external approval. When you rely on others to validate your choices, appearance or success, you give away your power. This leads to anxiety, as your happiness becomes tied to the opinions of others. Buddhism teaches the importance of self-acceptance and finding validation from within. True peace and mental strength come from knowing your own worth, independent of external opinions. By cultivating self-compassion and self-awareness, you free yourself from the need for constant validation. Imagine someone who posts frequently on social media, constantly checking for likes and comments to feel validated. If they don't receive enough positive feedback, they may feel inadequate or unworthy. This reliance on external validation weakens their sense of self-worth over time. Create a self-validation practice. Each day, write down three things you appreciate about yourself without waiting for others to acknowledge them. This could be related to your character efforts or small accomplishments. Over time, this practice will strengthen your self-confidence and reduce the need for external approval. Habit 10. Living in fear of failure. Fear of failure is a paralyzing habit that prevents growth and weakens the mind. When you live in fear of failure, you avoid taking risks, trying new things, or stepping outside your comfort zone. This fear creates a mental block keeping you stuck in a cycle of inaction and limiting your potential. In Buddhism, failure is not seen as something to be feared, 
but as a natural part of the learning process. The Buddha taught that every experience, including failure, is an opportunity for growth and wisdom. By embracing failure as a teacher, rather than a threat, you build resilience and mental strength. Consider someone who has a fear of starting a new business because they are afraid it might fail. This fear holds them back from pursuing their dreams and exploring new opportunities. Over time, the fear of failure becomes a mental barrier that limits their potential for success. Reframe failure as a learning opportunity. The next time you face a potential failure, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Write down the lessons you've gained from past failures and how they've helped you grow. This practice will reduce your fear of failure and empower you to take more risks in the future. The teachings of Buddha offer profound insights into the nature of the mind and how to cultivate mental strength by letting go of habits that weaken it. By practicing mindfulness, gratitude, acceptance and self-compassion, we can strengthen our minds and navigate life's challenges with resilience and grace. As you reflect on these 10 habits, consider how you can apply Buddhist wisdom to your own life. Mental strength is not about avoiding difficulties or controlling every aspect of life. It's about embracing life's impermanence, cultivating inner peace and trusting in your ability to grow and adapt. With this mindset, you can move through life with greater clarity, purpose, and inner strength. Thank you for joining me on this journey of wisdom and inner transformation here at Infinistum. If you found today's insights valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our next deep dive into the infinite possibilities of the mind. Remember, your path to strength and peace begins with awareness and action. Stay curious, stay mindful, and keep unlocking your infinite potential. Until next time, embrace the wisdom within, and may your journey continue toward endless growth.